separation is only way forward. North has destroyed the country. This article is written by Bayo Uluwasomi. North has destroyed itself, destroyed Nigeria. Separation is only way forward. We have been head hostage of Northern governmental issues of destitution and craziness very long. The desperation of now requests prompt withdrawal or partition or severance of Yorubas from Nigeria. This, I accept, is the main and most ideal path forward. The ever unpolished plain speaking Emir of Kano, Muhammad Sanusi, has of late cautioned that the not will obliterate itself on the off chance that it doesn't change. If it doesn't change, evidently Sanusi was alluding to what the northerners who had governed Nigeria longest since autonomy. It seems like the old testament prophets of faith with a roaring revilement. The remainder of the nation can't be contributing, instructing its youngsters, delivering graduates, and afterward, they watch us. They can't lead positions since they originated from an inappropriate state when we have not put resources into eventual fate of our own kids. You can't be glad, proceeds Sanusi. Around 87% of the situation in Nigeria being in the north, you can't be content with a great many northern out of young, younger students. You can't be content with nine states in the north contributing right around 50% of the old on elderliness trouble in the nation. You can't be content with Boko issue. You can't be content with all the issues Sanusi clarifies. Sanusi finishes up by anticipating desperate ramifications for the north if the north doesn't transform. It will pulverize itself. The nation is proceeding onward. In the event that we don't turn in, there will be a day that there will be a constitutional revision that tends to these issues of standard framework and government character. There's nobody more famously qualified than a northerner to discredit the inadequacy, inadequacy of his northern brethren that had controlled and demolished Nigeria for very nearly a fourth of century since autonomy. Obviously, the northerners remain the most ruined in Nigeria. We would all be able to concur that all the diverse ethnic gatherings that had governed Nigeria over a significant time span, military despots or regular citizens' presidents, flopped horrifying to change Nigeria. We are observers to the way that those from the north are the most noticeably awful military tyrants and the most sick prepared non-military personnel presidents. It isn't so much that the north will wreck itself as Sanusi cautioned. The truth of the matter is the north had annihilated itself and crushed Nigeria. Here is the way the north decimated itself and devastated Nigeria. Governance is the man manner in which a nation deals with its undertakings strategically and the manner in which force and authority are worked out. The impact of a decent government or a terrible government on the latest fortunate and the most defenseless is significantly telling. The northerners who control us have more than once supported and rushed the disappointment of government organizations that would have forestalled struggle, guarantee security, and offer essential types of assistance. They have directed in huge parts over government that kept age, ages of poor Nigerians from lifting themselves out of the situation. These poor Nigerians have been de debilitated from developing financially. Nigerians have been obliged by the antiquated Constitution foisted on us by tyrant from the north named Ibrahim Babangida. The northerners, including the present president, Muhammadu Buhari, don't get administration. They can't make sense of that administration. It's in, in trigger to accomplishing advancement. They do not understand that legislative issues is associated with improvement. Advancement is vital and key to legislative issues. The legislative issues of needless rehearsed by the northerners makes them the best foods to our financial development that permits Nigerians to get away from patterns of destruction.
They have demonstrated again and again that they are not responsible to the individuals. They have made government, governmental issues their loan calling where they can illicit, illicitly accumulate riches. We are yet to completely recover billions of dollars buried by Abasha. Northerners don't respect different segments of the nation as corresponding force sharing residents. They have purposely sought after governmental issues that makes imbalances which fills strife. They neglected to take care of financial issues confronting poor people and helpless families with no entrance to training and medicinal services. The significant causes out of destitution. Residents are not part of administration convenience. Administration's convenience focusing on the poor, which can decrease political pressures and improve security, are not settled. The Northerners accept governmental issues is a dynamic idea. Henceforth, they don't consider it to be a basic determinant of advancement objectives. They can't associate governmental issues to administration that produce better thoughts more beneficial and prosperous residents. They can't understand that advancement is pertinent to proof of legislative issues as a driver of progress. They have neglected to utilize governmental issues for individual security and access, and access to equity. They can't get a handle on the way that political connections between administering, administering elite and resident direct conveying advancement through the institution decrease and by tending to social equity and limits of disparity. The system of Buari and other Northern is buried in an emergency of believability. He has bombed woefully to end Boko Haram and Eda's psychological welfare. His system is degenerate and separated from the desire of Nigerian. Nigerians' rising requests and desires are outpaced by the limits of Buhari to react. He and others in his system have amassed colossal riches and influence. Buhari and Northerners before him demolished or dissolved are just foundations by rebelliously with equitable principles. The appalling incongruity is that not normal for some other African nations, Nigeria has as the asset, human capital and common asset, it needs to create and change the notion, the nation. Despite the fact that the Northerners have demonstrated terribly clumsy to administer, they adamantly stick to control at the middle. They currently consider themselves to be kingmakers who choose which geographical zone will create the following president. They trust it's their holy obligation to pick, screen, and select competitors. There's nothing one can highlight that they perceive the Northerners as operators of progress. Rather, they are reactionaries to dynamic and progressive thoughts that can change Nigeria. Hardly any ongoing methodologies of Northerners to administration will do the trick. 1. The Congress person who supported the des despite church that is fit to for clearing out of our ability to speak freely to air our perspectives on national issues to control our administration and consider people with great influence responsible is from the north senator sabi aliu abdullahi niger north senatorial region two ibrahim gedam who yobe from yobe senatorial local presented the bid that we make organization for contract boko psychological militants number three hassan ado duguwa from kano dominant Pat Paunia, House of Representatives, came to House of Reps with its four spouses, flaunting that the four wives have created 27 kids and as yet tolling. Number four, $100 million of Abacha plunder was recently piped by Buhari to Kebi State Governor Atiku Bagudu. Obviously, all the four occasions referred to. There is no connection between the modest and great administration. To what extent we will keep on permitting boneheads and dote to govern us? To what extent would you, we say we are going to timidly follow observers as supervisors of our country, assets and individuals? For what reason do we need to expose and submit ourselves to the 
rule of financial and political fear of a segment of the nation that needs limits, ability, knowledge, responsibility, shrewdness, and vision. We have been held hostage of Northerners' governmental issues of destitution and craziness extremely long. The earnestness of now request quick withdrawal of partition or severance of Yoruba from Nigeria, this I accept is the main and most ideal route forward. So guys, uh, we've heard uh, from this writer, he has made his opinion known and which is not really different from what a lot of people are talking about or what a lot of people really want. Uh, one thing that he has stated, it is something that we all know, are aware of. But one thing I always say is that when you talk about uh, the North, <laughs> they don't work in isolation. I always say it. Everything he must have said or he has said here, you know, is entitled to his opinion, which cannot be discarded which cannot be swept under the carpet, which cannot be waved off just like that. They are true in all of these things. But the, the, the question, the truth question is that, do these people work in isolation? No, they don't work in isolation. Because if the rest people from other regions, if they are not working with them, they will not succeed. A tree does not make a forest. And you can see from all indications, like I always make that statement, there are principalities and powers all over the place. Those who are working with them, those who have yielded themselves, you have purported in their hearts that they will support what is not at the detriment of the general masses. They don't work in isolation. That is where the problem is. They don't work in isolation. You always see people who are always coming to defend them, even from other regions. It is only when we are we come together to know what we want and we know where we are going to. That is when we can get it. Take a, take for example, the uh, uh, Biafra people, the the airport people. Take for example from them. See what is happening. See what the masses are saying. Majority of the masses are saying. But check what their politicians are saying. They are you know they want to be politically correct based on what <coughs> is giving them that or urging them to do that. So we can see that if people can really come out and say the right thing. You know, re recently we heard from Enaya Umudu. He's not talking about how these people are being, uh, 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 pardon, these are Boko people. But all this why they tag your people, this and this and that. Did you really come out to say anything? No. But now it has gotten to this extent. Now you are not coming out. You are not seeing reasons with what the Biafran people has been saying. So just like I said, you could see that those who have already channeled their course, or their case that they are going the, in this line, yet people there are people who are their political leaders. Whether you say oh who appointed them or whatever, but constitutionally they are the leaders. What are they doing? They are not concerned about what the general masses is saying. If you want to take the case a uh, case study of the southeast, so these people that northerners, these northerners that they don't work in isolation. We have people who are contributing to them, who are helping them because of their own selfish interest or selfish uh, uh, because of their selfish interest and their greed so guys uh, i wouldn't want to talk much i would like to hear from you what you think about this whole thing let us hear your opinion based on what this writer has said leave your comments below please share like subscribe and don't forget uh to comment as well thank you very much